<coughs> Good morning. Welcome to Yoga Galactica. Happy Monday. Hope you've had an incredible weekend. Ah, we relaxed this weekend and it was yeah. really, really, really nice. Got some stuff done on the house. And um, I'm going to share this on my Facebook page quickly and then we'll get started. Yes. <coughs> Good morning, uh, fellow family and friends, <coughs> yogis, people far and wide, close and near. Ha. <sighs> Feels good to be here, be back, offering these streams of love, of live, of quick shifts. So, part of our service to this earth, that might not seem like a huge service, but uh, it is. <coughs> it is. <laughs> we like to um, foster dogs that are in need of care, and that's actually how we ended up with Buddha and Bodhi and Bella. Buddha, Bodhi, Bella, yeah, I said your name, Bodhi. Come here. Come, 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 Bodhi. Maybe you hear him, he's talking. So nonetheless, the same adoption uh, rescue service that we rescued these guys from is now <coughs> has three more pit mix babies that are like one to two weeks old two that need women. bottle feeding. And uh, we're going to be fostering them, doing some bottle feeding for these pups. And while it would be great that we could have them indefinitely, we actually can't. Um, we're going away at the end of the month. We really have a maximum of 10 days that we can help out. But I don't know if you know anything about the um, dog situation is, but so many dogs get left behind uh, puppies especially, they just can't be taken care of, and it's really sad. Um, but we're able to help out and bring them in. But we're also saying this because we're putting this out to our community to see if anyone else here is interested in helping with these three little pups. Yeah, we need some help. We need some extra foster parents. I'm happy to show you how to bottle feed. It's, it's really pretty easy once you get the hang of it. Um, and these little guys, their eyes aren't even open yet. So it's pretty special to see a little being open their eyes for the first time ever, and, you know, and just give them a really good start with love and care. So if you know anyone who is interested in fostering three little puppies, um, they're not even a week old, actually. I think they might be like six, five or six days old and they're coming today. Um, but if anyone would like, you know, if you're in quarantine and you're alone and you need some love, these little guys are just, and they are the cutest. I think there's two white ones and one spotted one. Yeah. And so we'll um, show you them tomorrow. They'll be here with us. And actually, if you're thinking about having a dog in general. Yes. Um, it's one of the best it's ways. It's one of the most amazing ways to adopt a dog because you get them from the earliest time possible. Like. Normally, if you go to a whatever adoption center, they're going to be at least eight to 10 weeks old. And at that time, they've already developed a good amount. They're still very impressionable. However, when you have them before they even open your eyes, there's such a special bond that you create with these animals. And that's what we had with Bella. We got Bella and her two siblings at two weeks old and their eyes were literally like just opening, barely. Yep. And, um, and man, the connection and bond that we have with Bella, she literally thinks that we are her parents. And so if you are thinking about having a dog, this might be an incredible way. Uh, unfortunately, you can't just foster one, you'd have to take all three. Yeah. Um, you could just keep one in the ultimate long run, but you can't just have one of the puppies now and yeah. we keep two. But we're going to have them for at least 10 days. You guys will see them in class tomorrow, I'm sure. And um, it's super special. Not going to lie, it is work. Yeah. Um, you have to feed them every three to four hours. Other even than that, they just the sleep. Yeah, yeah. They, they literally, their routine is sleep, eat, eat, poop, and... They're not pooping yet, but pee right now. Yeah. And they just repeat that. And so it's... it's 
you have to have a lot of focus, yeah. but it's not like a young puppy that's running around. They literally like sleep in a little bin. Yep. Um, and so we have everything yeah. we can set you up with. So if you're interested, let us know. They're little pit lab puppies. The mom is beautiful. And again, I might even do a little video later and just show you their little cute faces because they are just beautiful. And of course, if anybody wants to come by and social distance and help me feed them, that is welcome too, and you can check it out. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. All right. So I was gonna draw from the unicorns today to see what they have to say. Unicorn verse. Yeah. Let us know how your weekend was in the comments. What'd you guys do? Mike, if you're here. He's here. He thanked you for the earbud shout out. He yeah. says good morning. And I tuned in to, uh, not long, but I did tune into your um, quad live stream foot golf thingy. Just short time, just to see what was going on. I didn't actually see anybody playing because I was just watching some of the interviews. But uh, right on, man. Good for you. That's great. Um, no. Yeah. Eric got his pick, pit mix rescued from a blue plastic trash bin in South Central six years ago. Never regretted it for a second. Yeah. yeah. I mean, dogs that are abandoned when you find them, it's just, they're just so grateful. And dogs teach you complete unconditional love. It yeah. is just the most special. It's like special having, thing. A, having a kid without actually having a kid. <laughs> It's it is like if Especially. unless you unless you have like a monkey, it is the next closest thing to having a child because they depend on you for literally everything. Water, food, exercise, love, compassion. And I don't know what we would do if we did not have these four amazing creatures in our life. Um, it it's it is a real blessing. Talk about it's hard to feel down or sad when you've got four cute little faces all wanting your attention. And um, it can be really life-changing. So let us know, leave a message, write us. Even if you don't wanna keep the dogs, you can just help out by fostering them. Yeah. Um, ideally, we don't want them to have to go to a bunch of different foster places. What we did with Bella and her siblings wow. is we kept them the whole time is probably about 10 weeks until we were able to get them um, uh, adopted out. So we actually, the, the really cool thing about that is we got them adopted uh, to two of our dear friends. So now Bella, at any time, we haven't done it a lot, but we see her brother Mickey a lot, but at any time she has nine siblings that we could go meet. And that's pretty rare because Oftentimes, once dogs are split from their um, pod, whatever, their herd, uh, litter, that's what I'm trying to say, um, they don't ever really get to meet again. Um, I mean, obviously, there's plenty of exceptions for that. But um, it's really special to know that if you do take them and you're able to put it out to your network, most likely you'll have friends that want to adopt those little yeah. Dinkles, and then they stay in the family, and then you have this cool little network that can help watch and whatnot. It's so also a great learning experience for kids. Like if you have children and you're wanting them to really get to know and love animals, and you're needing some love during quarantine, you could help us out with these beautiful little puppies. I can't wait to see them. They'll be here around 3:30. So again, I'll do a little video and show you the little tiny Dinkles. Um, but if you know anybody that would like to help bottle feed and foster, let us know. We'll be talking about it. Good morning, Gretchen. Good morning, Mike, Amy, Eric, Jennifer, Maya. And there may be more. There's a lot. I can't, but I can't see who you are. So good morning, everyone. Welcome to the live stream. All right. Well, the card that just jumped out of the deck is Compassion which is wild because it was on the bottom of the deck and I saw this card and then I shuffled and this is the one that jumped out. So let's see what compassion has to say. Yeah, the girls would go crazy over the pups, Gretchen. And if you 
at all feel like you would like to help us out with fostering these puppies, I can teach you how to bottle feed, and it's you could have some puppies, you and the girls. Really could precious. Be, could be really sweet. Hi, Delilah. Good to see you here. All right. Where's my... Oh, here they are. They're right here. All right. Let's see what uh, Compassion has to say, and let's get shifted. So, sitting up nice and tall in the most perfect spot in your home. Close your eyes. Let's take a long, deep inhale through the nose. Sigh it out. Ah. Another deep inhale. Shake it out. touch and slowly bring them down to the center of the heart chest inhale rubbing the palms fingers knuckles create some friction and sigh it out <sighs> now taking a moment to think about your intention for today's journey breathe slow and deep just feeling Every breath bring you into this space, grounding you, relaxing you. Every inhale, imagine bringing in whatever it is that you're wanting to cultivate and create. And every exhale, we ask that anything seen or unseen in mind, body, or spirit is gently removed on the exhale. Focus on your breath, slow and deep. And I'm going to read this card that jumped out, which is compassion. See what it has to say. Be gentle with yourself. Forgiveness will set you free. See the light in yourself and others. You are an old soul who has journeyed through many lifetimes and had many experiences. You learn more each time you incarnate and in each life you always do your best. It's easy to look around and compare yourself with others and feel that you're not good enough or not as far ahead as you could be. Your life is not a race or a competition. It is a personal soul journey for you to take at your own pace and in your own way. So please be gentle with yourself. See yourself through the eyes of the divine as a perfect, worthy being and know that you are loved unconditionally. No matter what you have ever said or done, Set yourself free from the prison of guilt, shame, and unworthiness you have locked yourself into by forgiving yourself. Be conscious of the critical voice in your head and replace its judge judgments with thoughts of love. This compassion will lift you into higher energies, lighter emotions, and a greater capacity to receive. The same is true for all others in your life. Be willing to release all of the resentment you carry and know that you only poison yourself by holding on to blame. Look for the light in everyone and know that they are doing their best too. Let waves of divine compassion flow out from your heart into the world and around you. Miracles happen when you live from this place of love and when you see the good in everyone and everything. Oh, that's such a good card. I think my favorite part is your life is not a race or a competition. It is a personal soul journey for you to take at your own pace and in your own way. So true. So often. <sighs> so often we compare ourselves to others or think we're supposed to be at a certain place and have this done. And I remember when I was young, I thought that 30 something was so old and I was going to have all these things done. And now here I am about to be 4.9 and I feel like I'm young again. Very bizarre. But really trying not, I know what a beautiful card. We all needed that. Yes, Gretchen. What, you know, we need that reminder. And remember that. Also that every single human being is doing their best at all times. That's an easy one to forget. 
and uh, especially right now. So just remember that, be gentle, be kind, especially to you, you deserve it. Ah, great card, thank you unicorns. What a beautiful card too, I'll post it after class. So hands are at the heart, you're sitting tall, breathing slow and deep. Ah, let's bow our chin to the chest. And we bow to you, Mama Gaia. We thank you for all you provide to every single being on this earth. We thank you for your bounty and abundance. We are so, so blessed. Thank you for our food, our water, air, fire. Let's all make a pact with our heads bowed for today and every day to be protectors of this planet to do our best to give back to this beautiful earth so that we may pass it on to the future generations. And with your head bowed, just taking a moment to send this earth some deep gratitude. And then bowing to yourself for showing up, doing this work, even when it challenges you, you are a warrior. Take a moment to be grateful for your health and your body's ability to heal, to be grateful for all the abundance in your life, to be grateful for your practice, your strong body. Just taking a moment to send yourself some love and appreciation. And inhale, sit tall. Exhale, letting your hands float down on top of your knees. And inhale, pull your shoulders up to your ears. Squeeze. Exhale. Whoa. Whew. The shoulders down the back. And then again, inhale, pull them up. Exhale, roll the shoulders down your back. Last time, inhale, pull them up. Exhale, roll the shoulders down your back. Let's reverse that. Inhale, back and up. Exhale, forward. And again, inhale, back and up. Exhale, forward. Last time, inhale, back and up.
All right, deep inhale, open the arms nice and wide. Exhale, bring the hands into the center of the chest, placing them right in the center. And we're gonna, we're gonna let go of some guilt and shame and resentment and really forgive ourselves by using a mantra along with a movement. So we're gonna do the Hopa Ono Ono prayer. I love you, I'm sorry, please forgive me and thank you as we do this exercise. So we're gonna inhale, turn our head and body to the left and exhale to the right, it looks like this. Eyes are closed so you don't get dizzy. And this exercise squeezes toxins out of our internal organs. So it can make you feel a little dizzy, dizzy or nauseous if you have a lot of extra toxins built up like we all do by living here. <laughs> so again, no comparison, no judgment, just do the best you can. And if you need to stop and just say the mantra to yourselves, do that. All right, so let's go. And say to yourself three times, I love you. times I'm sorry. Three times please forgive me. And three times thank you. begins with you forgiving yourself it can be very challenging but this prayer is so helpful so use it and once you filled yourself up and send it out to people that you have any uncomfortable energy with let it go good job friends and stretch our legs out. Mm. Ah, give your knees a little rub. Thank you, knees, for healing 
for being healthy to the backs of your knees. shoulders, knees under hips, fingers spread wide. Let's inhale, straighten the right leg, back it out behind you, press into the left hand as you exhale, and in, or sorry, right hand as you exhale, and inhale, left arm forward. Breathing, pull your navel in towards the small of your back. Press your pinkies down. You're going to come into dolphin. 
So really keep the elbows and forearms pressed down here. Take a deep inhale. And as you exhale, you're gonna tuck your toes, use your abs to press the body up. Head is off the ground. Shoulders are wide. Imagine stretching them apart. Long deep breath here. Release your head and back. on this ground. 
to come make you walk in beauty and remember us all. last one deep inhale lift up hold the breath squeeze the navel sip in more and as you exhale lift the arms up parallel to the legs oh, shoulders are relaxed down Hips relax down, just rocking from side to side. And then bend your knees. Pull your knees into your chest and take a minute to just rock. Legs can make circles. They can make opposite circles. Whew. Good job, yogis. Deep inhale. Side it out. Oh. All right, beautiful job, everybody. What an energizing movement practice. And now we prepare for the Wim Hof breath, this powerful breathing technique that helps to relieve stress, anxiety, and it helps bring your body back into alignment through alkalizing the blood, through oxygen into the bloodstream and the body, the brain, the organs. So it's a powerful breathing technique. We love it. We share it in every single class. And this is what we're going to do. You're going to be lying down on your back because as we breathe deeply, you can get lightheaded and dizzy. So we want to make sure you're already lying down on the floor. We're going to be taking about 40 powerful breaths into the body through the mouth or the nose, but ideally the mouth, you can just get a bigger breath in. You want it to be a full, big, deep breath, and the exhale is soft and relaxing. We do it rhythmically, we do it together, and it sounds like this. Good, so follow along right now. Breath in. 
full right at the top. Just hold, 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 hold. Feel it. Stay here at the top of the breath at least 15, 20, maybe 30 seconds. Test yourself. See how long you can stay here with the breath in. Feeling your heart gently pumping this blood through the body. Thanking your heart for being the most significant organ that you have. Because before our brains were even developed in the womb, our hearts were beating. And the heart has an intelligence of its own. It actually has its own brain and its own function. If you can, try sipping in a little more breath right at the top. into the body, soft, relaxing exhale, round two, here we go. That's it, good. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, and pull it in, let it go, pull it in, release, big breath, release, and go. Now on this second round, notice how when you're ready, when you feel it, allow yourself to take a nice, big, big, big breath in. And really fill up the lungs. Let them come to their full capacity of breath, of life.
opportunity to just receive. This is the gift that you get to give yourself after putting forth this energy. And relaxing now is a very important part of this experience. So let yourself find the most comfortable spot where you can cover your eyes, place a pillow under your knees, and just completely drift away. So as we do this, let's together take a nice big breath. Hold at the top for five, four, three, two, one. One now, open the mouth, exhale, let it go. Ah. Relax.
love. Be patient with me as I shed this skin, as I lie old patterns at God's feet, as I burn and dream, as I'm carried by this stream, I can be fierce while feeling this vulnerable. I can see, seem far away as my wounds drip as I writher, cry, and hiss, as I take in this last breath. Generous was this passing death. Praise be the person I was as I gasp life into the warrior I now am. And taking a nice, big, deep breath in. And release, let it go. Ah, another nice, big, big, big breath. And sigh it out. Ah, letting the fingertips and toes begin to wiggle and move. Bringing that into the hands and the feet, the wrists and the ankles. Gently twisting and turning, reaching and stretching. Bring the hands up and over the head and squeeze through the whole body. And as you release and relax, let the knees float up into the chest. Hands on top of the knees. Begin to draw circles in one direction. And begin to draw circles in the opposite direction. And then when you're ready, wrap the arms tightly around the legs. Give yourself a giant hug. Tell yourself, thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you, I love you, I love you. And when you're ready, begin to rock yourself up and down, up and down, rocking all the way up, all the way down. And again, all the way up, all the way down. And then rock yourself up into a seated position here on your mat. Let the eyes remain closed as we bring the ceremony of self to an end. Take the hands, rub them together, create some heat, some friction, and then press the palms together. Bring the thumbs into the chest. And as we breathe slow and smooth, I would like you to take this first moment to send out some love and good energy into the space that you practice today. Just thank it for being such a safe container for holding you wherever you may be. And then take a moment sending out some love and appreciation to somebody in your life that has really helped shift you and see what it is that they need right now so you can help shift them and send it to them from your heart to theirs. And then we take this gratitude, this love, this light, and we're going to spread it all across this beautiful planet. Imagine it's radiating from the navel all the way out until it covers this entire earth spreading peace, love, prosperity, joy, happiness, abundance, health, wealth, and any other blessings you would like to send out. And then letting the chin fold in the chest as you turn inward here, we take now this precious moment to honor ourselves, physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, past, present, future, honor it all. What a blessing to be here and have life. And lastly, we extend this gratitude to our teachers, mentors, guides, mystics, yogis, sages, artists, poets, and all of those that have shared with us so we may be able to shift and share and transform today. We are forever blessed. Satnam, Satnam. Namaste, Namaste. Aho, Aho. Blessed be. When you're ready, just coming back here into this time and space, in this moment, we just want to send out a huge form of gratitude to each and every one of you that joined us today, that have been practicing with us through this entire quarantine or even just a few days. We are so grateful for you. We really feel the love. We love all your comments. We love we just love this connection and I have a really um, strong feeling that in July we're going to be starting up some classes again so just stay tuned yeah yeah I ain't scared of no virus that's a whole nother story anyways 
We love you guys. We hope you have an amazing day. We hope you had a great shift. All of these classes are a gift, but if you are able to and you're feeling called to, you can send a donation our way. You can send it to yoga galactica at gmail.com that is for uh, paypal our venmo is at yoga galactica at this at symbol and then yoga galactica all one word we kindly appreciate it we love seeing those come in we are super grateful thank you kamala for starting us off with that beautiful powerful practice you're welcome and uh leave a comment let us know if you're at all interested in uh, these pups, you'll be able to see them a little later today because yeah. we're going to get them in a few hours and you'll see them tomorrow during the shift. Yeah. So you stop moving your foot. And uh, we love you. Thank you. I'll post the poem by Thug Unicorn and I will post the unicorn card. Compassion. No comparison, no judgment. Live your soul purpose with love every day. Thank you, Siri, for your beautiful singing. Oh, you're welcome. Love you guys. See you tomorrow, 11.15. Oh, yeah. We sing that song all the time. It's called, did you turn it off? Not yet. It's called Blessed We Are, Mike, by Pia. P-E-I-A. Um, and that's one of our, that's one of the songs we actually sing together. Yeah. So we will, uh, if you look it up on SoundCloud, you can find it. Blessed We Are. It's beautiful. Have a beautiful day. Mm -hmm.